Hey, it's Chris Allingham at the Virtual Warmer Bullet. Today we're going to compare and contrast the Thermo Pro Lightning Instant Read Thermometer with the Thermoworks Thermopin 1 Instant Read Thermometer. Now, right up front, I'm going to ask for your patience and forgiveness if I get these names screwed up. Thermo Pro Thermoworks Lightning, that's not confusing, Thermopin 1 versus Thermo Pro. If I mix these things up, I apologize. Hopefully it'll be clear what I'm talking about. Now, a few disclaimers before we get started. Uh, I am a Thermoworks affiliate. That means that I place links on my website and my discussion forum to Thermoworks. And there's also some in the description of this video. When you use those links and buy products from Thermoworks, they send me a small commission, which helps support the operation of my website and my discussion forum. Um, I also will disclose that in June of last year, Thermoworks sent me this Thermopin 1 for the purposes of evaluation. And uh, I created a video on YouTube in which I compared this product with the current version that was called Thermopin Mark IV. And I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to check that out. This is the thermometer I use continuously in my kitchen and in my backyard for all of my household cooking and my backyard barbecuing and grilling. I do not have a relationship with Thermopro. Um, I paid for this myself, purchased it on Amazon.com. Uh, however, I am also an Amazon affiliate. So if you use the Amazon link in the description of this video to investigate and buy this product at Amazon, I also earn a small commission for that purchase as well. And while I've been a satisfied Thermoworks customer for many, many years, I am going to try to be as objective and fair-minded as I can in giving you some good information about how this new Lightning compares to the Thermopin 1. So let's first talk about when these units were released and what their price is. Cut right to the chase, okay? So Thermopin 1 came out in June, I think June 2021. Uh, I think at first it came out at $109 and the price quickly settled down to $99 and that's the regularly going price. But Thermoworks uh, occasionally does put it on sale at the time of this recording in uh, you know early December 2022. It's on sale right now for $69.30 on the Thermoworks website. That's a savings of 30%. The Thermopro just came out on I think December 5th, 2022 and uh, it was priced at $99 straight away, but I got this on sale on Amazon for just under $49. Um, I don't know whether that price will stick or whether it will come back up or not, but again, this on sale, Thermopin 1 is uh, $69.30 right now, and this guy, Lightning on Amazon, $48.96, I believe. And this price may be subject to maybe going up a little bit after the introduction. But you can see there is a premium price attached to the Thermopin 1 versus the Thermo Pro Lightning. Now as for country of origin, country of manufacture, Thermopin 1 is made in England. Thermo Pro Lightning is made in China. Um, this probably explains some of the discrepancy in price. Um, as you know, I'm sure there is a difference in the wages and benefits paid to workers in England versus those in China. So it's up to you to make a decision of how you're going to value country of origin, country of manufacture when you make your purchase decision. Now let's get right into the packaging. I do not have the original packaging in my possession for the Thermopin 1, but I do have a photo that I'll show you. Uh, this is the box that it came in. It was a, a gray thin box had a plastic window through which you could see the Thermopin 1. And inside, I do have what was inside the box. There was a, a Thermopin 1 operating instruction sheet. It's basically one piece of paper with four sides to it. And then also a certificate of calibration. And this is a little document that shows that a technician at Thermoworks tested the Thermopin uh, the accuracy of it and made any calibration changes to it and this documents the calibration of the unit and the accuracy of it. Finally, inside the uh, larger shipping box comes a kind of interesting and uh, educational brochure that uh, talks a little bit about Thermopin 1 but also has some basics about measuring temperature in foods and how to use probe thermometers to your best result. Um, you know, these things are extremely accurate and if you position the probe uh, 
too shallow or too deep, you get different measurements and you can actually see the temperature change as you begin to go from the surface of meat to the center where it's coldest. So they have instructions in this brochure that really help you understand how to use probe thermometers in the best way possible to get the most accurate results. And then finally, inside the shipping box, so they don't have any more, is a little tiny package of Jelly Bellies, which is a nice touch. Now I do have the packaging here, of course, for the Thermapro Lightning. I bought it from Amazon. It came in the typical Amazon bubble wrap envelope. Um, no Jelly Bellies inside, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and open up this box. It also is a thin gray box. It is quite nondescript actually compared to the one from uh, Thermoworks. It does not have a window in the front so you can't see the product. Um, my recollection is the Thermoworks box for Thermopan has some marketing information on it about features of the product. This does not except it says instant read digital meat thermometer on the side and it has a model number and a made in China indicator on the back. But it, this box does not really sell this product. It doesn't say one second, doesn't talk about speed or accuracy. And I guess they're relying upon you know the website to really do the sales job. And this is just a delivery box, which makes sense if that's your strategy. So this is sealed on the back with two little round dots. I'm gonna cut through those. And open this guy up. And so inside there's a little First of all, a little red, little red sheet, which says Thermo Pro on the front and the back. It says uh, it's about customer support. If you're experiencing problems, you know our friendly staff would love to hear from you. And there's a bunch of phone numbers for various countries, and there's an email address and the hours of support Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, support information right on the top. That's a good, nice touch actually. Second thing is uh, an instruction sheet, Lightning by Thermapro instruction manual. And it is quite brief, very similar to the one that came with Thermapen 1. This one is, looks like a small sheet of paper, eight sides, and it explains, this has the introduction, it describes the features, the components, what to do before you first use it, how to measure food temperature, a little bit about the calibration function, on doing calibration, helpful hints, how to care for the thermometer, how to dispose of it at the end of its life. It says that it comes with a, this is getting ahead of ourselves here about warranty, but let's cover it right now since we're looking at it on the sheet. It says limited one year warranty. Thermo Pro warrants this product to be free of defects and parts material workmanship for one year from date of purchase. You can extend your warranty to three years by registering the product. So if you do nothing, you get one year. If you register it, you get three years. Uh, I was aware of three years, but I didn't know that registration was a requirement in order to get that three years. So that's important information if you buy Lightning. And then again, at the very end, customer service information. And there's some specifications here at the end, the temperature range of the product, the tolerances, the response time, the type of probe, what it's made out of, the size of the display, the weight, and the uh, power requirements. So that's useful information right there. And we'll get back to some of that here in a little while. So let's take a look inside the box. We have a, a firm, rigid foam tray, kind of a high-end feel to it, with the lighting here in the bottom part of the tray. It's got a thin plastic cover that protects the shiny surface of it. My recollection is the Thermapin one also had a a plastic protector over the screen portion of its display. Then we have one AAA battery here, which powers the unit. Thermopin one also uses one AAA battery. And then they provide a very small screwdriver with which to, I guess, open up the case to put the battery in. Thermopin one comes with the battery pre-installed and they don't include a screwdriver. So let's go ahead and take lightning out of the box. I'm gonna put my finger in this hole on one end here. Let's see if I can pry it up. There we go. So it's a tight fit, but there is the lightning and I will take off the protective cover. Put that aside. So there's the unit right there. Brand new, shiny out of the box. And let's do some comparisons real quick, just physically between this and the Thermopin 1. 
So I've lined the, the butt end of these units up together evenly, and you can see that the lightning is a little bit longer than the Thermapin 1. They are, you know, approximately the same width, but let me get you the exact measurements. So here are those specifications. The lightning measures uh, six and a half inches long, one and three quarters inches wide, three sixteenths of an inch high, and it weighs 116 grams. The Thermapin 1 measures 6.1 inches long, so it's a little tiny bit shorter, as we saw, 1.7 inches wide, 0 0.74 inches thick, uh, and weighs 115 grams, so one gram less. In terms of how they feel, you know, the substantialness of how they feel, um, you know, there's only one gram difference between the two, but there is some difference in size and in thickness. And as a result, you know, this kind of feels heavier for its size than the Lightning does. But if you were to you know, put them behind your back and switch them around, um, you know, they're very, very close in terms of how hefty they both feel. Now let's take a look at the probes and check those out. Here's the extended probe on the Thermapin 1, and here's the extended probe on Lightning. And I'll put those up together so you can see them. Well, we'll get a close-up of that. Um, the Thermapin 1 is uh, 4.3 inches long. The probe, the Lightning has a length of 4 inches long. The, the tip of the probe is a fair amount longer here on Lightning than it is on the Thermapin 1. They both are very similar though in the thickness of the, the body of the probe. And of course the business end of these things really is right here at the very end. You know, this part here doesn't do much of any, doesn't really do anything in terms of measuring temperature. All the action is right out here at the very end of these things. So unlike with the Thermapin 1 where the battery is already installed, right out of the gate, I have to do that here on the Lightning. So I will extract the battery and the screwdriver and take this wrapping off the battery and then turn this guy over put this on a larger piece of paper here so I don't scratch up the front there's one one screw in the back that's that's similar to Thermapin 1 which also has one screw in the back that opens up the door I will mention that you know there are Folks that go back a ways with Thermapin and they have had problems in years past with their access door, um, the robust nature of it, or it's sticking with time and being hard to open. This is a redesigned door as of Thermapin 1, so they've been trying to solve that problem. Both units though have a single screw that opens the door and the screw is not really tightened up all the way, so it's easy to come out. A little bit more. Okay. I kind of felt it pop up once the screw released. And inside we have a very, you know, standard issue, little tray for one AAA battery, clearly marked, which end is positive, spring on the negative end, drop it in. I don't see any, um, there's no controls or buttons inside this battery compartment, unlike Thermapin 1, where some of the calibration and um, you know Celsius to Fahrenheit controls are inside underneath the battery panel. No controls underneath the battery panel here on Lightning. Tighten this up. Push it down a little bit while I tighten. Okay, so now that's in and it has lit up and it is in Celsius by default. And I, uh, I'm not a Celsius guy, so I'm going to change it. And there's a button on the front here which says lock, and then there's a line, and below that there's Celsius and Fahrenheit. We'll talk about the lock function later, but I think if I just press this, well, that lock the temperature, if I hold it, I guess, it changed to Fahrenheit. So now it's reading room temperature of 71.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And just for fun, the Therapin 1 says that the room temperature is... 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So these two cannot agree with one another on what the temperature is in this room. The Thermapro Lightning says 70.9 and the Thermapin 1 says 72. So 
That's interesting. <laughs> so let's go through some of the feature differences between these two units, and I have taken some time to do some research, and I've got a list of things here that I want to discuss with you. And if, as you watch this, if you are aware of any feature difference that I have not mentioned, please uh, make a comment down below this video. Um, first thing is the display. So you'll notice that um, Lightning has a red LED display, and the Thermopin 1 has a, a uh, black LCD display with a white backlit feature to it. Um, Thermopin 1 has what's called a 360 degree display, which means that as you turn it to each position of the, the clock, tw 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, <laughs> 9 o'clock, uh, and positions in between, the temperature in the display rotates to four different positions. They call that a 360 degree display. The Lightning has a 180 degree display, so it displays in that position, and it also then flips and displays in this position, but if you hold it on end, it does not, it does not, not turn. It doesn't shift position like the thermo pin one does. So there's one difference. Second difference is the warranty. So as we mentioned, we, we covered that. Um, the Thermapro comes with a one year warranty and you can extend it to three years by registering the product. The Thermapin one comes with a five year warranty. Let's talk about water resistance and waterproof. Um, the Thermapro Lightning is what's called IP65 water resistant. That means that you can run it under the sink, you can splash water on it, and it will not ruin the device, so it makes cleaning very easy. The Thermopin 1 has got what's called IP67 uh, water resistance. That means that not only can you put it under running water and splash it, but you can submerge this in water up to one meter and it will not hurt the unit. So. This unit is not certified for submersion in water, and Thermopin 1 can be dropped into up to one meter of water and it won't harm the unit. Now another feature is the Thermopin 1 has something called Biomaster Antimicrobial Silver Ion Technology. This is one of those ingredients added to the plastic case that helps uh, from an antimicrobial standpoint. Um, Personally, I'm not a huge fan of antimicrobials, whether they're in hand soap or whether they're built into products, but I guess maybe if I was in a restaurant kitchen and I was really, you know, super concerned about microbial issues and food safety, maybe antimicrobial stuff built into the case is a positive feature. Uh, Thermopro Lightning does not have any such material built into the case. Thermopin 1 has something called NIST Traceable Calibration Certificate. That's that certificate I showed you earlier. That's like a standard that proves to, you know, buyers that this unit has been calibrated to a national standard. That's not so important to the home cook, the backyard barbecuer, but if you were a restaurateur and you're dealing with the health department all the time and you're trying to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward in terms of the products you're using to measure temperature during, during cooking, during holding of food for service, um, you know, having a, a certified uh, calibration document that you could show could help you in your discussion in those things. And it's probably something really important for the commercial buyer, perhaps not so much for us at home. Now, another difference is the Thermopin 1 is NSF certified and the Thermopro Lighting is not. I'll just read to you from the Thermopin documentation. What is NSF certification? The NSF mark indicates that the design materials, production process, and quality controls used in the production of Thermopin 1 have been verified and certified for food safety by NSF International, an independent standards organization. So again, um, you know, if you've ever been out to restaurant supply stores and you've seen um, a lot of cooking tools and products that have a little round NSF logo on them, that's a certification that the manufacturer has paid for that tells buyers that this product is certified to certain standards of performance when it comes to food safety. And so you have that on Thermopin 1. In fact, right on the back, on the logo here, right next to the name is the NSF logo. So Thermopin 1 
has that, and that's something that, again, may not be something that a home buyer is necessarily going to be homing in on, but a commercial buyer would be. And we look on the back of Lightning, and there's a, a bunch of things, but there's not an NSF logo. Now, let's move on to accessories. Now, to the best of my knowledge, Thermapro does not make any accessories for Lightning, uh, at least not at this time. Thermalworks makes a couple of different things, and they're listed on the back of the operating instructions. This is a protective leather wallet that I purchased. I really like it a lot. Um, it's very classy. It's got kind of a, you know, pebbled finish to it. It fits very nicely. It has a snap cover. It's got a belt clip on the back. So that's a pretty neat way to protect your thermopin. And in the junk drawer with a bunch of other stuff around it, this is very helpful to me. They also make a protective, what they call a zipper wallet, which I don't think is leather. I'm not sure about that. It looks like it might be vinyl. They have a wall mount bracket. That's again, more of a commercial feature. And I've seen it actually, the other day I was at the drive-thru at an undisclosed fast food restaurant, Wendy's. And um, right next to the freezer door, as I'm at the drive-thru, I look through the window and I see a Thermapin 1 in the wall mounted bracket right there outside the freezer so they could grab it off the wall and go inside and measure things. And in fact, the one at Wendy's was wrapped in the fourth accessory, which is called the magnetic glow in the dark silicone boot. This is a wrapper that goes around Thermapin. It provides it with some heat protection because of the silicone wrapping. It also provides just some extra gunk protection. It, 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 the window is open so you can see the temperature, but the body is covered from gunk. And it has a magnet on the back, which allows you then to stick that to a metal surface. Now that's a feature that Thermapin 1 does not have by default. There's no magnet on the back of this that allows you to stick it to your oven hood or to your refrigerator or some other such thing, your smoker. Lighting does have a magnetic backing and I think it's, I think it's right up here at the top. I'm not quite sure. Let's give, let's give it a try. <laughs> Turn it off. So it feels, feels like it's toward this end. It may be here, maybe here in the round end. I'm not quite sure, but I can definitely feel it pulling, pulling this end first and then this other end trails in. So Lightning to its credit does have a magnetic feature and Thermapin 1 does not. To get a magnetic backing, you've got to buy the optional magnetic silicone boot and put that on. One other feature of Lightning is this hole in the end. There's a place here where you can, if you had a lanyard, you could hang this around your neck, throw it over your shoulder, I guess. Um, Thermapin 1 does not have a hole for a lanyard connection. Now, from just a purely aesthetic point of view, Thermapro Lightning comes in one stylish color, black. This would be a favorite of Henry Ford, any color you want, as long as it's black. It is a nice, I think it's a nice design, actually. It's got some they do talk about it has kind of a grippiness to it. It does have a, a rubbery uh, air, a rubbery thing that encircles the unit and it does feel grippy and it has fine grips at the front end and wider grips at the back end. And then the display portion is bright and shiny uh, black plastic. It's, it's a classy looking unit for sure. I'm not going to say otherwise. Thermapin 1 comes in uh, 10 different colors. <laughs> so you can get black, you can get gray, you can get red. I think, you know, red is a favorite color of barbecuing. There's orange, there's green, there's yellow, there's purple. I mean, a lot of different colors. And they also have special editions. Occasionally they come out with ones that will benefit uh, military uh, charities. And they did one for Operation Barbecue Relief and a number of different causes. So they are much more sort of style oriented <laughs> at Thermoworks in terms of what they do with the cases and the colors of Thermopin 1. Now just checking my list again here, we already talked about the fact that the display on Lightning is a red LED. The Thermopin 1 is uh, a black lettering, black LCD lettering on a white backlit display. Thermopro Lightning has a lock feature and I think I stumbled upon that early on. And the way this works is that um, when you stick this into your meat or your food and you get the temperature reading stabilized at what you're wanting to see, you can press the lock button and it holds that temperature on the display. That's a pretty nice feature actually, because 
as I mentioned earlier, these are so accurate that as you move them in and out, around and about, the temperature will just jump up and down because they're that sensitive. And on Thermapin 1, there's no lock feature. So as you're moving this in and out of a thick roast, this temperature will go up and down and you'll get it to what you think is the center and the display will stabilize. But if you want to you know, retain that reading, you really can't because as you pull it out, the temperature will go back down toward room temperature very quickly. So having a lock feature, I think is kind of a neat little add on that Lightning has. Now, another feature difference is the auto timeout feature. So both of them have it. If you have the um, probe out, when you let them sit for a certain amount of time, they will shut off to conserve battery power. They both use one AAA battery. At this point in the video, I got off into the weeds a bit, so I wanna just narrate here very quickly what these auto off features are between the two units. Lightning has what they say auto off in 90 seconds. So if it senses you know, no movement, after 90 seconds, the display turns off. You pick it up and give it a little movement, it will come back on. It's not clear at all from the documentation whether there is a power down mode after a certain amount of time. Um, that would conserve batteries if you let it sit, for example, for five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Does it actually shut itself off completely to conserve power? Thermapin 1 has two different features. There's sort of a screen off feature that turns off the display after a configurable amount of time, anywhere from 10 seconds to 120 seconds. And you control that using the buttons in that battery panel. Then there's also a 10 minute off power down feature. So it will actually, you know, totally power down after 10 minutes to conserve battery power. And now as far as the part that really matters, the measuring of temperature, they both claim to have the same specifications. They both claim to measure temperature in one second. They both claim to be accurate to plus or minus half a degree Fahrenheit or 0 0.3 degrees Celsius. And both the units allow for some sort of user calibration to make, make minor adjustments to the unit if you need to. And finally, one last little tidbit that Thermopin 1 is the number one rated instant thermometer by America's Test Kitchen and Cook's Illustrated Magazine. I find their ratings to be very helpful to me and uh, very accurate in my experience. So to me, that's a pretty uh, you know, powerful thing to have behind you, number one rating from America's Test Kitchen. Thermopro says that, not about lightning, but about their product line in general, they claim to be the number one rated affordable meat thermometer on amazon.com. So their products definitely sell for at a lower price point. Um, I know a lot of folks on my discussion forum are very hot about Thermapro products. They like the fact that oftentimes you could buy, you know, not lightning, but lower, lower level units within the product line. You could buy three or four of them for the price <clears throat> of a Thermapin 1. Um, that's just the reality of the pricing. You know, sometimes these are lower level units from Thermapro can be under $19, while a Thermapin can be $99. You do the math. Um, so these guys tout their rating from Ameris Chess Kitchen as high quality. These guys tout the fact that lots and lots of folks like to buy them as a kind of value-oriented thermometer on Amazon.com. So now the part you've all been waiting for, let's go over to the stove and do a little test and see if we can discern any difference in speed and accuracy between these two units. So I have a pot of boiling water and I have arranged my two thermometers on a ruler clamped in place with the tip of the probe at the very same position. I'm gonna hold these above the bottom of the pan and see what kind of reading we get. Here we go, move them gently and we see 211 on the left and we see 212 on the right going back and forth between 211 and 212 settled at 212 213 on the right 213 on the left you see a lot more movement on the lightning because it's set to one decimal point we don't have that set on the thermo pin we are getting some condensation here making it hard to see on these guys if we take it out we see them drop quickly at about the same rate and if we put them in, we see them jump quickly to around 211 right away. I really don't see any difference in performance between the two. 
So how would I summarize the results of that little experiment I just did? Well, in terms of speed of temperature readings, they both look the same to me. I don't really see any difference. They both seem to move quickly in the same direction when put into and taken out of the water. Um, there was a little discrepancy in terms of how I had this set with, you know, one decimal point. That's how this comes from the factory. I'm not sure if there is a way to uh, adjust that or turn that off. I know on the Thermapin, I think there is a way to do that. Generally, we just use it with no decimal places shown. We just look at the, the two-digit temperature. The screen was a little bit harder to see on this. I mean, you have to give it up for an LED display. It definitely is brighter and easier to read than this display is when the backlight is out. Now, I'd also like to cover a few, um, I think, misleading elements that are on the Thermapro website comparing their product to Thermapin 1. Just gonna call it as I see it. This graphic is lifted directly from the website. And on the very first item, it says that uh, lightning responds in one second and the the competitor, whoever that is, is six to 10 seconds. To the best of my knowledge, Thermoworks does not sell a six to 10 second version of the Thermapin. Even the classic Thermapin, which is their uh, less expensive model, has a two to three second response time. So I don't know what they're comparing this to, but it's certainly not a Thermapin when it comes to response time. Um, I discussed earlier the auto off feature, the difference in those things. That's deceptive because the 90-second auto-off seems to be sort of a screen-off feature, whereas the 10-minute on the Thermapin 1 is a total power-down feature. Thermapin 1 will turn its screen off in a configurable range of time between 10 seconds and 120 seconds. As for anti-slip, I do think that lighting has a slight edge over Thermapin 1. Thermapin 1 does have a rubbery gasket that runs around the perimeter of the unit, but I do think that the um, the actual grips on the edges of Lightning do give it the edge in terms of its anti-slip design. So in conclusion, I have to say that the Thermapro Lightning is a very capable unit in terms of its temperature measurement, in terms of its apparent value, in terms of the way it feels, the way it seems to operate. Um, it seems like it's a, a high quality unit. You're gonna have to make a decision based on other factors and other features between these two. There are some that Thermapin 1 has that this does not have. And if you're operating in a commercial space, uh, my guess is that you know a lot of commercial customers lean this direction, but I'm sure that Thermapro would be happy to sell you this product if you're a restaurateur as well. So um, they're both good units. I think I'd be happy to work with either one of them. Uh, I'm still a Thermoworks guy and I'll continue to use this, but uh, this seems to be a good quality product. So my question to you, did I miss anything? Any features I missed? Any differences I missed? Any differences of opinion about what I said versus your experience? Please submit a comment. I'd love to see what you have to say and anything you can say that would be helpful to other people considering the purchase of these two units, it would be very helpful. So thanks for doing that. And with that, that concludes this video. I wanna thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you very much. If you'd like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, I really appreciate it. It helps up my standing within the rankings at YouTube. Until next time, take care everybody. Happy temperature measuring. Bye-bye.